Hello everybody. So today's well not today, I already uploaded the video today, but today's pretty much secondary video will be about hooking up a mob spawner to one of my mob elevators to make a super efficient, highly good for XP farm. Because you don't have to be there, you can be AFK and build up thousands of zombies in this case and get tons of um rare drops rare iron drops and yeah so so first of all what you'll need to do is you'll just need to clear out the walls because it turns out that these dungeon rooms are actually slightly too small to get the max spawn rate there's a special kind kind of like directional Thing to get the exact size but it doesn't matter if your trap is just slightly too big because we really don't need to worry about things like that because it just makes things much more complicated than they need to be so I'm just gonna start by removing this outer wall this might take slightly longer than a real survival world like not a creative one there is a little cave under here I was not expecting that might make things slightly more annoying. So let me just be careful not to destroy this spawner. Because then I'd have to re-record this. Even though you'd never even know about this if I did accidentally destroy the spawner. Damn it. So let's think. Mobs can spawn. Check out my epic sword I got. I was just enchanting a bunch of swords for fun to see what I'd get. I got a sword with four enchants. The enchant of getting a sword with four enchants is like a zero percent or something. It's like um one in two hundred. Oh, you die too. Oh, I, oh, do you see that? I got a rare drop. A helmet is one of a. A zombies rare drops and the cool thing is yeah that's pretty cool so die. yeah that, that's fun just to kill zombies with the epic sword so oh uh, zombies are still spawning in this space that's not what we want for this test so I think we might need to make this one lower this isn't creative so it should go by pretty fast Sorry about this, I should have done this off camera. But I want to show you this step by step so you won't get confused when you're building your own. Just keep this place torched up. Because we don't want anything spawning in this room while we're working. Because that's just irritating. So let me continue to dig this place up. Lost skeleton. Yeah. How do you live? Tough skeleton. I don't know why some people. I don't know why in some cases, looting and fire aspect like counteract each other, but not in the case I was just doing. <laughs> I just love killing them with that epic sword. They stand no chance. So um, what you want to do is you want to get. An infinite spring going in your single player world because you can't just do this and grab water buckets. What you'll want to do is you'll want to do this. And you'll just want to make a solid line of water sources that will flow here. So zombies will be able to spawn, I'll just let them. Then over here, you want to make one single sideways water. That will be extremely glitchy, and then you'll want. Mm. Fuck that lava! Oh, that's that's too bad. There was lava there, and then oh, get out of here, zombie! I'll just turn this to peaceful. If you're going on a server, always make sure everything is lit and put tons of torches every space around the wall just to be sure because you never know so now what you want to do is I know I'm on s 
creative and I can just fly up and do that. But in single player, you'll want to like dig it, dig something similar to that. So obviously, without flying, you won't be able to. Unless you're like do some multiplayer command, which I don't know because I've never actually played an SMP before. So let's keep this going up. So let's see how many blocks this is. So F3, let's see, it's 8.6. This is slightly too high. So 8.6, I'll need to go to 20. 8, 28 to 31. So this is where I'll need to be. Yeah, I was pretty close. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'll continue to seal this up with cobblestone. And I'm just making a tube for the mob elevator. So here's just some tips for making your spawner. A mob spawner can only spawn mobs within 16 blocks of you. But there will be an entity limit if they're too close to you. So what you want to do is you want to deliver them within 32 blocks so they can't despawn. But then you also want to make it within 16 blocks, the mobs. But you're, wait, you're sta- Wait, I said that wrong. So you want to be standing six, um, as close as 16 or less blocks away from the spawner. And you also want to be, uh, you also want to deliver the mobs, the, like, zombies or skeleton nukes or whatever you want to do, uh, to less than 32 blocks away from you. So they'll just keep spawning endlessly and dropping down into that space. So, here's how you do it. You'll put a sign and another sign. Solid water, solid water. Then you want. I'll just place some torches so you can see. Then you want sign done. Water sign. Water sign. Bring torch. Water sign. I'm not sure if I put that on right because I can't see myself. Lol. Sign. Water. Another sign, torch, and so on, so on. It'll keep going up. Ah, I just want to keep doing this. I want to get to the top. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I reach it to the top, and now what you want to do is you just want to put a sign and then a water stream. Sorry, that knocked out my torch. It's now hard to see. Yeah, so I'll just temporarily put this here to leave the torches in. Whoa. There is always a cave in the way, isn't there? Let me just patch this up. I'm not sure if I'm moving the right direction, but I don't really care. Because I can fix this all up later. So, as you can see, what I've done... Is I've just made a tube away so I'm quite sure this is the right direction I'll just check down here just in case I'm lucky that was a water block so I didn't mess the whole thing up huh where is that spawner I'll have to find it nah I, just in case I lose that spot spot I'm not going to stay too far away Torch. I want a torch. Where'd that tube go? I have like directional issues in Minecraft. Oh, yes, this is where I just came from. So I, I wish Ender Pearls worked in um creative. You know what? I'll just make this three blocks high. It's not like Enderman can spawn in water anyway. Like this will let them hop, but that won't slow down the system any, so I don't care. Sink down to the bottom. So, yes, let's see. I was going in. Let's see what happens when I get to the top. Oh, 
the wrong direction. But that doesn't matter if I just make this slightly longer than I planned. It will all work out. So we want to deliver these mobs more than 16 blocks. So I'll just do like 30 because I went the wrong way. All this stuff will be more cleared up for you just in a few minutes. So I'm just going to patch this all up. And then I'll start working on my smooth delivery service thing. And I'll actually cut this and be right back. Okay, so I finished up my smooth delivery system. But it seems I'm probably running low on time right now. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial. The next part will probably be coming out tomorrow where I'll be showing you how to finish up your zombie mob spawner trap thing. So, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, or subscribe. It'd greatly help out my channel. So, hope you enjoyed.